vital. He's got the keys of the Cadillac, and, and that guy, uh, you know, runs the show for us. Uh, you know, and, and a guy like Matt, uh, you know, it's a great opportunity for him and, 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 our, and our incoming quarterbacks that we get from now, you know, into the future. But, you know, looking at a guy that, that's got to be high character, that also has great athletic ability, great instincts, you know, and a great leader, and a guy, you know, that can make plays on Saturday. Yeah, without a doubt, there's great high school football here in Ohio. There's, there's great coaches, and, you know, which result is there's great players. And, you know, it's been a fun process learning. Uh, being around the coaches, being around the kids in these programs, you know, in our satellite camps and being able to recruit this spring, you know, to get out and see facilities and to see how guys run the program, to, to see the quality athletes, you know, that we're having the you know, opportunity to recruit. You know, it's been a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited, uh, you know, to continue to get to know all the high school coaches, uh, you know, to be around the recruits and the athletes that, you know, that we you know, choose to come to BG and, and, you know, give us a look. You know, in Angelo State, I was fortunate enough to earn a degree in kinesiology uh, with a minor in history. Uh, in the process, play football as well on some quality football teams and be around, uh, you know, a quality group of coaches. Yeah, it's vital, you know. I mean, obviously, Texas is, is, is largely recruited, especially in the spring. You know, to be able to walk in and have a connection or have a tie with a lot of the high school coaches, you know, I think is advantageous to, to myself, which in results advantageous to Bowling Green. And uh, you know it was, a, it was it's a good process. It's a fun process. Those kids are very passionate. Uh, you know they're they're coached well, and you know you can get a lot of information from those kids uh, because of the time spent. You know in the state of Texas on football, it's a year-round process, and uh, you know there's a, you can get you know valid information uh, on those kids character-wise, you know athletic-wise, academic-wise, you know, and the process that they've been in since they've been in high school. So you know you can go down there and get good information. You know, the sky's the limit in the system, you know, and, and the numbers don't lie. You know, and that's what kids can do. If you're an offensive kid that's looking to come to Bowling Green, is just look at the numbers of what this offense has produced, which goes back to the University of Houston, you know, to Baylor, and then what we did at Eastern Illinois and now Bowling Green. And, and the numbers, they don't lie, and kids are able to see that. They're facts. And, you know, it's a, it's a highly explosive offense uh, that produces, you know, produces from the quarterback standpoint the running back standpoint and obviously has receivers as well. Guys get a lot of opportunities to make catches. And within all that being said, the old linemen up front aren't left out either. I mean, there's been high draft picks from this offense. You know, it provides a guy, you know, a big man a chance to, to do multiple things and show multiple talents in the, in the run pass offense that we have. No yeah. doubt, I mean, the thing about Jimmy is he just jumps in the family reunion, you know, with Kevin Cobb, Case Keenum, uh, Robert Griffin, Nick Florence, Bryce Petty now is going to be a draft pick, and then you had Jimmy Garoppolo, and it's, you know, what you basically say is who's next. And, uh, you know, that, that's what's exciting. It's been a great transition for all those guys I just named, uh, you know, to go into the NFL and do successful things. Um, you know, the, the offense provides that. It, it, you know, we highlight guys' talents and what they can do. And, uh, you know, they, they've not had much of a struggle transition into the NFL. So it's been, it's been positive. It's obviously been productive, you know, and then, um, you know, guys have got results. You know, you're looking for a high character kid, a guy that's tough, you know, that has a lot of, you know, leadership about him, that he's a quality kid academically, athletically, you know, and, and I'll go back to the tough one. We want tough kids, you know, kids that'll, that'll battle. And you know that a lot of these kids have been through things and have been in adverse situations, and, and those are kind of just the guys you want because, you know, just as in live football, it's very similar. You know, you're going to face adversity. You want kids that can, that'll fight, you know, and that, that that won't ever quit, and you know that are highly, highly competitive. And, and those are the kinds of guys we're looking for. And when we get out on the road, and I get on the road, those are the guys we want. Those are the guys we're asking questions about. You know, the guys we want on this football team.